Hi friends. So in this video we will discuss about Snowflake. So snow, previous video Snowflake पे हमने anonymous block create करना देखा और procedure create करना देखा. That was just a simple procedure. Okay. Now so if I talk uh, how to work with the cursors. So so cursor के सबसे पहले हमने क्या किया? एक table हम लोगों ने यहाँ create कर ली है यहाँ पे. Okay. So we have created one table with two columns and uh, I have just loaded the values into the these two tables okay and i have another table just a, it is similar to my main table but here i have just created its replica okay so let me truncate first my target table okay so to truncate this thing let me try the query now so I have truncated my invoices underscore zero one. So to declare the cursor in Snowflake, we have to write this one. So like if I compare the same the in Oracle Oracle, what we are doing, we are writing cursor C1 is select star from table name. But here, if we are using that cursor, so what we are doing, we are using that C1 cursor. Then it's a statement for select star from invoice table name. Now, if I need to print the whole values or all the values which are returned by the cursor, so what we can do, we can just open the cursor and in return clause, we can use re re return table result set from cursor C1. So what it will do, it will print us all the values which are returned by the cursor itself. Okay. Now, next question is, suppose I need to load the data which has been written by cursor into my target table so what we can do we can just use the same thing declare the cursor and like it is it is returning two columns so i will declare two variables here similar way and uh, after that what i can i can use for loop here for record in c1 cursor name so make sure after using this for loop we need to use do so this we need to put but in oracle there is no need to put this this do uh, keyword here after that end now so what we can do whatever values as you had whenever this loop is going to run it will assign uh, all the values which are written by c1 into our record so it, it will assign values one by one so what we have done we have just assigned all those values which are written into one into two variables what after that what we can do we can return insert those values in uh, into our target table with the help of these variables after that we have to use end for and after that we can return this close this and an block we using return end okay let me run this thing you see here this has been and completed now let me run the query it is showing same to record from invoices underscore zero one okay now so in future videos what i will do i will try to explain you suppose you need to print how many rows has been performed in dml operations like in oracle we can do sql percentage row count okay similar way in snowflake also we are having one keyword called sql row count which we will see in next video thank you